we are live. Are we live? I don't know. sued by motherfucking Nintendo. A DMCA would suck. I couldn't defend that shit. <laughs> Greetings, citizens of the motherfucking YouTube. Uh, man, YouTube used to be so fucking different. Just be so fucking different, but yet fundamentally, it was the same. Oh, but I don't want to get into YouTube drama. Actually, I do because YouTube drama would probably increase my channel revenue and trafficking and shit. Only one person watching, and that's me. That's me, uh, Nikola Kanishevich. Oh shit, docs. I live in America. Oh shit. Docs. <laughs> oh man. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh yeah. I'm drawing a, a half naked Asian woman. That's what I'm doing. Uh, why? Because I'm Ronery. Very, very Ronery. pretty funny just watching the video right now and I can't it's not in real time definitely not in real time what's the resolution of this see I can get all the way up to 720 oh yeah that's pretty it's pretty full screen whoa whoa let me go back to actually seen my drawing reference because that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be drawing. Oh my. It's too bad I can't play music here. Or it'll get taken down. I need to have like music. It'd be cool to have just some kind of some kind of mellow music that I know won't get me in trouble to play in the background, but I don't know what the fuck to do with that. I need some shit to do. I wonder if I'll have an audience at all. At all, at all, at all. Ugh, this is so ugly. Okay, let's clean that up. It's funny, it's like, like there's that cartoon of like, how to draw an owl. Uh, step one, draw two circles. Step two, finish the fucking owl. It's pretty much what this is. How to draw a half-naked Asian woman. Uh, step one draw kind of the abstract shapes that need the details put on them to uh, look more like a half-naked Asian woman. Anyways, still, still working on it. But yeah, her name is uh, Yuka Koromochi. Uh, she's got a huge ass. Huge fucking ass. Probably the biggest ass in Japan. Definitely the sexiest. Oh, I sound like a pervert. You're a fucking pervert. Well, I kind of agree with uh, Jim Norton. 
in his latest stand-up special, he talked about, like, uh, it was on Netflix, he talked about the word pervert and how he kind of wants it only to be used for, like, predatory, shitty people. And, and I agree with that. That's, that's logically consistent. So Trump has had a lot of weird, goofy photo ops that I think have made my life significantly better. Thank you, Donald. Thank you for touching the weird, uh, fucking orb. <laughs> the weird magic Saruman orb. Oh, dude. I watched the video of, like, Alex Jones flipping out over it. It was fucking awesome. It's just like... This is Palatir from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh, God. I still have no audience. Why am I even fucking talking? I should just, like, like pre-record it instead of record it live on YouTube and just speed it up and just post that instead of me talking. Nobody wants this podcast. I'm not famous. Who the fuck cares about me? <laughs> I care about me. That's why I want to do this. My sponsor today is fuck all because I'm broke. And I have no sponsors. Because I only have like four subscribers. What? There's two people watching? Cool. That's really cool. Having two people watch. One of those is me. So it's it's actually one person is watching. Woo! Was it Nathan? I don't know. Oh shit, I just doxed someone. How unethical. I am the least ethical human being on the fucking internet. <laughs> it's not like... <laughs> it's not like Chris Chan. <laughs> Maced a fucking GameStop employee. <laughs> Oh, fuck. God, her hand is really pretty. I like having references to draw from. I do have to say my style is very influenced from from manga. I like using cross hatches for shadows and shit. Shit. Shit is such a good word. Because you can use it for just about anything. Not just pooping. Do 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 There is something you can't understand. My belly button looks a little big. thing is there's so many people like just like fighting just to be artists for a living that I'm kind of fucked like I have to deal with like a lot of motherfuckers if I'm gonna compete with them like holy shit Nine minutes in, I still haven't drawn her face. What a perv. Face is pretty though.
Okay, so that's what that looks like. Cool. I like being able to watch myself draw. That's very, very fascinating. So how does YouTube work this shit out? If you're uh, new, please comment, rate, subscribe, uh, share it with your friends, because I definitely need subscribers. This is such boring shit. Nobody wants to watch this. But seriously, seriously, if you, if, if you guys do that, I'll be so much happier, and I'll figure out how to make this more interesting, and, and I'll make it worth your fucking time. Uh... And I guess it kind of makes sense that podcasts don't have this type of shit. Because, like, people are usually, like, I don't know, fucking playing video games or whatever when they're fucking listening to a podcast and shit. But, I mean, that's what I did for a while when I started, like, listening to Joe Rogan or the Drunken Peasants. It's like, here's this thing that you can listen to while, uh... While playing video games it's like a conversation but you're not a part of the conversation but yet in a weird way you still are because without you there's no reason for that well actually that's not true they still want to have those conversations and they're still going to have them it's just like it's so weird you can make money off of fucking having conversations that's what's cool about podcasts is it's literally like you make money off of just communicating. Although, this off-the-cuff, like, talking shit with me, it seems boring because I'm probably a boring fucking subject to do that. But I'll figure it out. I'll, 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 I keep saying I'll figure it out on this shit. It's like the most boring fucking thing. It's like, it's like if, if like, you know how, like, they, they made, like, a fucking meme of uh joe rogan podcasts recently like like he just fucking does things that are pretty pretty fucking consistent oh well man the way these shadows glide or glide across her body is just it's just beautiful is so fucking hot. <laughs> fap, 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 fap. <laughs> uh. All right, we're 13 minutes in. Good, good. And we got to keep going. Just give her anime character eyes. Nah. It's fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid. God, she's so fucking pretty. And this is not the best illustration on the fucking planet of her. It's just way, way better illustrations of her out there. But, nah. I don't draw enough.
<sighs> I need to get a good at drawing fabrics. I need to get good at drawing like all these things that I've never really developed how to draw. I know how to draw the figure though. And I also know how to draw fast, but I'm not drawing fast, which is fucking stupid. Especially for this kind of show, because it makes me look like a lazy bitch. Or a person with shit technique. But I'll continue on and on and on until I better myself. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stand around and stretch. Take a little break. And I'm back. So there was that fucked up attack yesterday. And there's probably going to be another one again and again and again. And it's not going to stop. And, and the fucking asshole regressives, they're just going to fucking continue to go like, don't talk about Islam like that. And, and, and the fucking rednecks are going to fucking say stupid shit too, but at least they, they kind of understand that there is an enemy. Oh. Yeah, I erased her mouth because I didn't like the way it was shaped, but her nostrils are pretty good. I don't think anybody wants to fucking watch this shit. It's so fucking boring. <laughs> I mean, I rewatched the second episode that I did, and I actually did provide like a good little talk, a little talky. Uh, so yeah, is that? She's got those big fucking beautiful lips, dude. I need to finish those hands. This piece might actually like take me longer than 40 minutes because it's not a face. Or a head, it's a full body. No, no particularly interesting sounds for me to listen to. I can't just meditate because I'm trying to trying to build an audience again. But nobody fucking wants to watch this. Pretty certain, no, very few people are like, yeah, yeah. Let's let's watch some some asshole we don't know just fucking draw and rant about bullshit. 
God, drawing her hand is fucking weird. Like... Way too fucking rusty. <sighs> Dusty, you're getting rusty. Why are you playing those video games? This song's pretty funny. That looks more like a fucking hand. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. There's all this dark space right here. This is a this is a lot of fun. I think I don't know. Okay, I see. So this is her middle finger. There's her index finger right here. Index finger is right there. Right on her cheek. But it's it's this angle. And this hand is therefore completely fucking wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. But whatever. Like she has this finger here. And this finger's like up here. There we go. I gotta fucking catch up. <laughs> God, my back feels like shit. It's 23 minutes in. <sighs> it's just barely any reason for me to do this shit. This is probably the worst episode I've made so far. Probably because I've been lazy all day. I'm lacking in motivation. I should probably draw every day outside the context of this fucking stupid show as well. Stupid ass show that nobody fucking watches. Stupid ass show that put me in a thousand extra dollars of debt. That I'm trying to fucking clear out by trying to make this fucking stupid show. Start running off the fucking ground. Oh, I'm such a fucking dummy, but I have a desire. I have a desire to never have to fucking do a shitty fucking retail job ever again. Well, I've never done a retail job. A restaurant job. Yeah, a shitty fucking restaurant job. I don't want an office job either. Like, I want to, like, like, just kind of want to not even have clientele. Just want to have like an audience I can I can shoot shit with while while, while illustrating and stuff. Uh, but I don't know if that's gonna fucking ever happen. Uh, how the fuck? Who the fuck thought Bob Ross was gonna work? But then again, Bob Ross was on PBS. PBS was like a thing where they're all like, "Yeah, we need we need a." do some experimental TV shows that are like for children's education and Bob Ross was one of those I ain't I ain't fucking Bob Ross level and also Bob Ross was fucking weird like I wouldn't trust Bob Ross around me cause he seems a little, a little uh, misanthropic 
especially if you look at his art. He, he tends to not draw humans, he draws landscapes, kind of tries to make it to where it seems like humans aren't there, like humans aren't an aspect of his, uh, of his subject pieces, and it's kind of sad, it's really sad actually, <laughs> like, oh well. It's a dark area. There's like a, another dark area here. Like, and then slightly less dark area. See, I like drawing that. That was fun. Uh, but right now, I think I'm going to end the show because... Again, nobody watches this shit. My back hurts. And, uh, bye bye